What's up guys this is uh, rb on two wheels with another video so it's a beautiful day outside and you want to go out on a ride with the friends but unfortunately once you get your bike uh, the bike can't turn on or even start uh -huh. and that's where your problems start and you are wondering what is going on you know uh, just like cops when you go out uh, when you go out on Friday night uh, Saturday night to go party and you get into an accident at around 3 a, uh, 3 a.m. in the morning the first thing the cop is gonna ask you is have you been drinking so as a biker when your motorcycle is not uh, turning on or even starting what uh, what comes in your mind First, you check the battery and see what is going on. So this is how you can diagnose a motorcycle electrical problems. So first, I'm gonna tell you what you need. So you're gonna need a multimeter, this one here. You're gonna need a fuse tester and a power tester. That is if you have them handy. And the tools you're gonna need to get to whatever you wanna get to, uh, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter, a 10 millimeter socket, and also uh, an Allen key. Um, the things to check when it comes to a motorcycle, first, you're gonna check the battery. Once you're done checking the battery, you're gonna check uh, the fuses. If the fuses are good, you're gonna check uh, the lactifier slash uh, regulator and then the starter. A great place to start is at the source of the power. You need to make sure that your battery is in working condition. First, check to make sure that the battery has full charge. Uh, the battery should have 12 volts or higher with no load on it. Ignition and lights should be off. If the battery only measures to maximum of 10.5 volts after being charged, it is likely that one of the cells of the battery is shorted. So now without further ado, let's check the battery. So now in order to get to the battery, we need to take off both uh, the passenger seat and the rider seat. So let's get to that. So now here we have our multimeter. So what you do, you turn the meter to 20 volts right there. The bike has to be off in order to do a battery, a battery check. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that. So now you connect your meter, that and that. See, it gives you 13.0, so that. That is good. The battery is good. So uh, the battery is done now. We are going to test the fuses and see if we either we have a brown fuse or all bikes come with uh, main fuse and also uh, some other fuses used to maybe to turn uh, which help in order for other things to run like the headlights, uh, the headlights, uh, the ignition, horn, um, headlights. So without further ado, let's go ahead, show you how you can test the fuses and see uh, whether you have a brown fuse or not. So like I said, in order to test for the fuse, you need, um, you need to use either of these. But I prefer this one because this one was made purposely for, uh, to test the fuse. This one here is for the power. So in order to get to the main fuse, the main fuse is located uh, on the left side under the, uh, the rider seat right here so what you have to do is you have to take off this plastic cover and also this in order to get to the fuse
All right, as you can see, the fuse is right here. If you can see that green thing right there, that is the fuse. All right, so now we are going to test uh, the fuse. In order to do that, you need to pull this, uh, this housing out, this one here. You need to pull this, ho this housing out and then um, find a good, good ground where you can connect this in order to test uh, the fuse. What I'm going to do is this, I'm going to use this as my ground here. I'll just pull this out because it has, uh, it, it is hooked with the, uh, with the rubber here. So you make sure you pull it, just pull it out. Like so, you, while you're doing that, you have to be very careful not to mess up uh, this one here, the one uh, underneath this one here. So you have to be very careful. We are going to test this green fuse here. See this green fuse? This is the main fuse. So if for some reason doesn't light up, this doesn't light up, that means we have a brown fuse. So let's see. There you go. Yep. The main fuse is good. So make sure you cover it up and then push it back in. So now we are done with checking the main fuse. We know that that is okay. It works good. Now it's time to check uh, a couple of other fuses here. They are um, under here. So on the left side of the bike. So let us go ahead and take off this cover here and get to the fuses. So in order to take off this cover, they're about uh, like uh, four pushing pinnies on on the front side of the box. So we're gonna take those out and then uh, pop the cover out. But once you push this in, they're easier to take out. So you just pull them out. You can pull them out with using your fingers or whichever tool you have. Remember also, uh, if you are in a rush and you just want to do it that way, you can just unscrew this and get to the fuses. But if you want to test everything, you need to take all the cover out. So this one, the, uh, the lower cover has uh, four screws. You need, I mean, three screws you need to take out. So these are the fuses here. Let me see if I can. So you can see we have a uh, headlight. We have a uh, ignition we have a horn and a brake fan and the meter so if your headlights are not working everything is in here you just need to come and test the fuses so now uh, let us go ahead and test the fuses and see what's what we got so again we're gonna use this find a good ground where you can put this you can put it on any bolt as long as it has a good uh, a good ground i'm gonna put it on this bolt here you're doing this test because you have no, uh, your bike is dead, maybe the turn signals, the headlight, um, uh, the ignition. So just come here and test the fuses. So here is the tech. Some of the, these fuses, in order to be tested, the bike has to be on. But there are those which, which don't need the, uh, the bike to be on. So for example, the engine, uh, the headlights and the ignition switch, uh, ignition fuse, okay, horn, and brakes the bike has to be on that's why you see here if i test them they're not gonna light up see right there no light no light no light this here these three the bike has to be on so and then now come here you see that one is on that it doesn't need the bike to be on that that so now these three here we know that they are working So now we, we know that um, the three here are working. Um, the others, the bike needs to be on. All right, so now I will show you, my bike is, is in good condition. So I'm going to turn it on so that I can show you what I meant that, but that these here have to be, uh, the bike has to be on in order to test them. There you go. So here we go. Bam, see? Bam, bam. So now, everything on this bike here the headlights and everything they work okay all right so another thing to check for is the starter uh, the starter is in here so the connection i'm not going to open it but because uh, i have another way to test it but if you want to test to test the starter the connection is uh is right here so you take off this plastic and then um 
and then you get to uh, to the connector of the starter from the power so you can do that If you have problems with charging, you should first check your starter since its, its job is to provide extra power needed to charge the battery during operation. If the starter does not uh, provide enough power, the battery will begin to drain. Okay, check here. But I have another way of checking that. So I will do that together with uh, the, the lactifier. So now the lactifier is always uh, under here. So if you want to check that. Simple terms are regu regulator. The lactifier portion converts the AC power from the alternator, call it uh, the starter, into DC power so that it can, it can charge the battery. The regulator ensures that uh, the voltage is delivered within certain limits as not to damage the battery. So now you know. You know the use of the starter and the regulator. The starter is to charge the battery while uh, the bike is in, op uh, is in operation. And then uh, the lactifier is the one which converts uh, power from AC to DC because in order the battery to run, it needs uh, to use DC, not AC. Okay. So now I'm going to I'm going to show you how uh, you can test uh, your starter and uh, lactifier. So and we are going to do all that here. I'm going to take off the seat again and uh, get to the battery. So this process is on how to test uh, the starter and the regulator. So the regulator and the lactifier, what you need to watch for is the moment you connect the multimeter on the battery, it should read uh, 12 volts, over 12 volts, okay? Now, when you turn everything on, on the bike, uh, the voltage may drop a little bit. Don't worry about that. After that, you, you run the bike, you start the bike. Once the bike is started, the voltage should increase. That shows you that the regulator is doing its job. When that is done, also, uh, while everything is still connected, rev the bike a little bit, and then you'll be able to see an increase up to 14, volts if the bike doesn't go up to 14 volts that means your starter is not doing its job uh, the battery is not being charged while uh, while the bike is in operation without further ado let me show you what i just said okay so step one turn the meter on to 20 uh, to 20 volts okay as you can see i have 13 volts right there i'm gonna leave this connected here all right so now i'm going to turn the bike on you'll see a drop in voltage you see now i have 12.75 now i'm going to start the bike once i start the bike the voltage will increase that will sh that, that will tell me that uh the, uh, the lactifier is working and then when I rev the bike, uh, the voltage will go up to 14. See? You see an increase? So you see when I rev when I rev the bike, the voltage increase. When you do that, that shows you that everything is good. The alternator and the lactifier are working perfectly all right guys uh thank you for watching i hope this video is helpful and uh if you haven't already please consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next one until then rb on two wheels is out peace Later.